Yet doing negative reviews doesn't work. They are just not as entertaining to do. I have come up with a plan to make shorter, better to the point reviews and good reviews. Sometimes, sometimes I feel I talk too much and I can't handle all the points I want to talk about even if I keep talking or talking. So here it is, my three step, three phase plan to make better, to my three, my three step plan to make better reviews. What does the record do? How does it do it? And why does it do it? See, simple, simple. I think this should be my template. And yes, I dismantled my bed because it just, this thing is so huge sometimes, it's like, <laughs> no, it's still gluing an even smaller mattress and a, a thinner, uh, less white mattress. Today I went to review a record called Moonward by ESTV. -E Moonward by ESTV. Now, what does it do? Here's the thing, this was a more nuanced and elegant record than what my words could make justice for, so I feel I will need to skip this step. The way my brain works makes it incredibly clunky to describe exactly what it does, but I still feel I can tell you why you should listen to it. How, how, how does it do it? How does it do it? Um, this, is, this isn't gonna work now that I skipped the first step, right? I mean, I feel this record plays with the emotional tension of the songs. You have this pretty piano line and the line, the, the melody of the song stays there, stays on the song for a long, long while. It's like a very elegant dance. Sometimes you feel that the song is building up into an exploding climax, but it doesn't ever quite reach that point. It lingers on the build up and extends it forever. It's, it's, it's beautiful, it's like, sure, a climax in a song is great, but after the climax, uh, I feel that you should stop using that word. The, the moment is over, right? The joy dissipates. So if you stay on the build-up of the song, you can create an ambience that lasts, lasts forever. Come to think of it, doesn't some classical music do that already? I feel I keep describing the music from a post-rock point of view, so if, there, if I see there is some build up on the song, I say, oh, this is post rock, but it's not. It's something quite different. I can't put my finger on something that my small brain internet music genre tag name can grasp. Language is a prison. But the record is not just about that. It's not just about creating an embrace in the middle ground of a crescendo. Tracks three, six, two, three, six, seven, eight. They do something completely different. Three and seven are a lot popular and even more cheerful. They don't worry with the need to play with attention. They are just being, and they can be quite happy. But in that, that slightly melancholic way of happy then maybe you are feeling happy because you're remembering something that happened long ago or because you went through some growth pains it's like you finally figured something out so you feel happy about that but still hurts a bit track eight is an entire song of a climax but the other songs avoided entirely track eight gives us only that this track is amazing, this track is amazing, and naturally as someone who loves intensity, I have to say that this track is my favorite. This one, this, yes. And why does it do it? So why, 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 why does this record do this? Like, why, why, why was, why, why has, why, or this? Okay, so I skipped one of the sections and I went for too long with the second section, but I think I at least can nail this one. There are a lot of records that play with the nature of tension and crescendos and melody and emotion. You know, melody can, gives us that joy of the present moment, but the tension and the crescendos gives us the joy of anticipation that something great is gonna happen. But this record, this record, this. This is one of the records in particular that takes that middle ground of that 
mumbo jumbo and just let emotions be you know not 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 just the joy of the present moment but the joy anticipation eagerness about something good is going to happen and the anxiety that something sad something bad is going to happen it's like it's like when waiting i'm trying to not get too philosophical on this one so in a way it's a record that by staying in that looping moment of a build up it shows us the three dimensionality of our human experiences and i i think yeah i went over world again didn't i i'm trying to say that i liked it i liked it take the signs I liked the record, guys. It's, it's good, good, good album, good album. My rating is going to be mm, hot chocolate. <laughs> I drank a lot of hot chocolate, and I liked hot chocolate, and I like this record. This rating fits. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.